Hi, I'm Kevin Doherty, and welcome to my video on carving a cottonwood wood spirit of cottonwood bark. Here I have a small piece of cottonwood bark here. All right, uh, I'm going to try and stay out of the video as much as I can, so you can see everything I'm doing. A lot of people ask me all kinds of questions when I do videos. Uh, number one is, how do you clamp it? All right, so. I'm going to show you that today, uh, right from the beginning. All I have is a piece of board here mounted into a vise. Okay, and the vise is on, actually it's on a little craftsman work table. Okay, you can buy those anywhere. Uh, so it's not really a lot of work, right? Get up a nice flat piece of board, put it in a carving vise or put it in a regular vise. You know, any way you can figure out to stand it up, you can uh, build something out of wood even. As long as you have a board that you can clamp your piece to. All right. I like to usually drill holes in the back of the board and then I'll clamp it from behind right in the wood. But if you don't want holes in the back of the wood, you can do it this way, which is usually the cheapest and the easiest way. Go out and get yourself a nice quick grip clamp like this. Right. You see these in the store. All right. And that's all I'm going to use to clamp it. All right. So what I'm going to do is stick it up here on the board, just like that. Right, and then I'm going to clamp it at the top, don't mind my back here, just enough to hold it. Make sure it's nice and sturdy, okay, and that's it. So I just put the clamp around the board, squeeze the piece of wood onto the board, all right. Cottonwood bark's pretty easy to carve, so that shouldn't be too bad. Right, it should hold for you. If not, you can always drill directly through the board in the back, like I said, and put a couple screws in. That'll hold the wood. No clamps are in your way at the top. But we're going to take the clamp off later if I want to do some hair up there. But for now, this is how we're going to do it. Now I'm trying to see by looking at the wood about what I want. So this is a nice little shaped piece of wood. This piece was about twice as long. What I did was I cut it in half. That way I can get two nice wood spirits out of it. It's probably about three and a half inches thick, and it's Montana cottonwood bark. Okay. So from this point, what we have to do is we have to clear a lot of this bark off. And to save time on the video, I'm going to be shutting the camera off when I do do some of this. Right, that way you have a better idea of what I'm doing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll do a little bit of it <clears throat> on camera, and then to save time and tape, I'll go off camera and finish the process. All right. But before every major detail, I'll definitely make sure you know what, what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find myself a nice chisel, flat one, and I'm going to take all this off. All right. I want to try and form a nice wedge shape and, and let it go high in the middle and then fan out to the sides like that. All right. That way I can build my face on top of that and uh, it's going to be a lot easier to round off. But first got to get all the rough exterior bark off and I'm going to try and leave some bark on the sides because I like the way that frames the carving. All right? And that's usually the ones that sell the best. Okay, so I'm going to find my tools. After this introductory section I'll get them together and we'll come back and we'll carve this piece of cottonwood bark. <laughs> 